Yeah, good morning, everybody. Right now we're standing here on the Jordanian side of the Palestinian-Jordanian land border, which protesters are demanding be opened in solidarity with the crimes being committed against Palestinians for the second day in a row. Of course, yesterday these protests did get a little bit rowdy. There was about 2,000 people here, hundreds of whom actually broke past the blockade of police who were preventing people from going any further uh, to the Palestinian border. Tear gas was fired after that, and the, the Jordanian armed forces did actually come out with a statement afterwards saying any action was taken to protect citizens from going any further towards that international border, and also certifying that, of course, no live ammunition was fired. Now, it's difficult really to kind of surmise what kind of day it's going to be out here. There is a, a larger police presence. However, uh, the people here are only half of the people that are expected to be here. So really, we're not quite sure how these protests are going to turn out. Now, I mentioned before that people are demanding that this land border be opened, standing in solidarity with the Palestinian people. But what I really want to highlight more is the symbolism of that. Because, of course, the, the, the Jordanian and the Palestinian people have a very unique uh, cultural and ethnic heritage. So the Jordanians standing here today are not just saying we're standing in solidarity with the Palestinian people, but rather is standing here near this land crossing saying it's time to go back to the very place that our grandparents were expelled from. And with that, it's important to know that today is the 73rd anniversary of El Nakba, of course, the 73rd anniversary of the creation of the State of Israel, and the 73rd anniversary of the day that thousands of Palestinians were violently expelled from their homes. Now, while there is never going to be a good day to commemorate the, the Nakba, there really couldn't be any worse time as well. I'll remind people that these protested, uh, these protests rather, started on Sunday in Amman in order to stand in solidarity with the people of Sheikh Jarrah. That is that neighborhood in occupied Jerusalem where Palestinians who have lived in the neighborhood for upwards of 70 years are being illegally expelled in favor of Jewish settlers. Now also, I want to highlight in Gaza, in Gaza, residents are also being effectively evicted by means of airstrikes. Since Monday, the Israeli occupation has killed over 130 people in the Strip, ruthlessly bombarding the Strip with bombs. Now, of course, that is continuing. No ceasefire um, has yet to be talked about. And like I said, uh, we're going to keep our eyes on what's going on in these protests here. Uh, we're, we're, we're really still not sure how many people are set to come out, uh, but we're going to go ahead and keep you updated on all the events uh, here uh, at the border as well as in Palestine. I'm Priyanka Damani with Rutya News. 50, 50, 50.